Or the grand finals between Bears and Team Liquid. And you can see not just this ward but also Yapsor's surprise positioning here is going to be able to catch GH out. Now, they've already got the stun onto the, the Luna, so they're not going to be able to get that extra help, but it looks like with Yapsor and the body blocks, they will manage to get that first blood. I like that you ping that one out there and uh, at a full rotation on the right-hand side. Miracle's playing on the right-hand side because he's expecting the rotation to come over here, but now caught by the telekinesis. Here comes the spin. Nice cold snap. That's going to stop the hoof stomp. Yapsor can't close it, but the blade spin is still good enough. Miracle responded the best way he could. Perhaps which shrines may be important now is Rubik and Centaur venturing deep. Nice ward placement there. Make sure they catch GH. We'll manage to get that one kill, but they are being charged. They're going to be punished for their aggression here. Let's see if one or both of them is going to be able to make it out alive. And one of them is oh, definitely the not. Yapsor gets hit by the charge. Adam also, who Kuro was charging through, tempts the TP as the charge. Ooh. Oh my god. Ooh. He barely got out. I who cares if Weaver's getting such a good start? Oh, mid lane, Firo, oh no. Firo, right click down. He Omni does oh, not have the Omni, nice ghost walk there. That was perfectly timed. Control might tank the gank mid as Adam is eagerly waiting to telekinesis and then Slytherin crush with his stolen spell. This is a nice play. He's eating through the trees to get the surprise initiation. He may not have a blink dagger, but it may be of same effect. If bears don't react fast enough, here comes the entrance. Gets the stun on the fight immediately on the slash down. Firo's not able to finish him off, though. He goes a little bit deeper, but the sprint, he's already away. Now the bump back from Kuro, and Firo is stuck underneath that tower. Nice turnaround there with the vacuum wall, but that's unlikely to stop Liquid from getting aggressive. Oh, the turnaround. Nice, nice aluminum tornado. blast with the tornado over the top on a three. It halts the stampede for a second. These pushes are not working out. This Illuminate is level 3, Trying level 4. Trying to get Matu, Chocolate but they're not going to be fast enough. A little bit of a mini stun. The Stampede comes out, but it's a bit too late. Adam maybe jumps in. Oh, Fada, he's too far forward. Now the Sunstrike's going to be able to finish him off. With the last right click coming out from Matumba, man. Without that eclipse. Nice charge nice. cancel. That charge. It stops Firo's spin TP out. He's absolutely gonna be able to maybe get more they get Firo looks like he was dancing with some of the backline heroes it's gonna be Ferev who's caught the early blink dagger of mind control for bears the way that their team has developed and I mean they have a mech completed on Darkseer but the time for oh man charge up on Firo he has no protection yeah, it really doesn't. What is he going to do? Try and spin? He doesn't even have the TP up. They have Kuro's ultimate as well. Oh, no. The bump back. Oh, okay. That's a little unfortunate, but it doesn't matter. The physical damage <laughs> is easily going to be able to deal with that one. Miracle does get caught in bottom lane, though. If they can kill him again, and it's going to be a little difficult with the tornado, but they might just be able to do it. He throws out the tornado immediately, but they get the telekinesis off first with the eclipse over the top. They do manage to kill him. Yeah, they don't seem to feel comfortable. I don't know. They do have a spoke. But they, oh man, I don't think they should go for this. I don't think so either, but they're going to try for it. They start streaming forward. They have the surge out. Attempted vacuum on the side. He had the right idea, but he didn't know exactly where Miracle was. They try and hit the stomp. They do hit it onto Miracle, but he does have that fresh up. Lincoln's blocks a lot of the damage. Matamba Man's tearing Adam apart, and Mind Control's 1v1ing for Red pretty easily. It's all up to Firo now to try and get as much damage onto Miracle, but they can't do it. They're stuck inside the trees. Firo's going to have to TP out. Cold Snap stops him. He's done for, and Fada, he's left against five heroes all by himself. Fada has no chance in hell of getting out of here. A big fight for Bear, or excuse me, a big fight for Liquid as they take on all five mana of Bears on a tier two, which means they can go straight for the high ground push. Okay, let's go inside the mind of a bear. You have a pretty underfarmed juggernaut basically leading a smoke that he wasn't even smoked under. The tower is already dead, so you don't even have tower damage to help you out. And they're hoping they would just get the right kind of vacuum stomp turn the fight. The telekinesis is not going to do a whole lot there. Firo tries to get the Omni Jesus. Slash, but now going to be countered. He's done for. Melee racks also going to fall here. Liquid have taken two lanes of racks by 27 and a half minutes. Does have the Shikuchi potential for initiation. Matumba Man's actually Mat almost entirely out of mana. Has enough for a time lapse. Nice vacuum wall combination though. That's going to be with big with the hoof stomp. They're going to be able to take out two almost immediately. Maybe bears can actually win this fight. Matumba Man without mana and without a time lapse. He has BKB though. He does have BKB for this next engagement, so they might just be able to fight this out if Miracle hits the right kind of combinations. First Tornado and EMP is not too much of a hit, but it will separate Firo enough for them to be able to right-click him down. Fada pursues out for GH, does punt a Manta off that one. Oh, nice stun on the Matumba, man. Maybe you can finish him off. They need a little bit more, but he gets away. Fada, he does man up against GH God, but Miracle is too much for him to handle. 
Even if it was a core, Matumba Man has still an eight second BKB, which he might just use now. Telekinesis, ah, but they needed more follow up, more stuns to be able to come out. BKBs all around from Liquid, so they just ignoring all this Eclipse. Fada is left with just physical damage, and that'll never be enough. So Liquid are able to take game number one against Bears pretty handedly too. Uh, I have to say, the and it was that mid lane defense. I think that actually just broke Bears in, in many ways um, with the Invoker and now Necrophos, a very mid game heavy um, Beastmaster. Um, this is certainly not going to be a lineup that I think can contest Adam. the uh, the ten minute push that we're talking about. Adam stuck. And Adam is going to have to snowball into the trees to get out, but a huge heal comes out from Kuro and eliminates him before he could do so. So there's your first blood. Yeah, I was like, oh, he's going to get a pounce and a new tower. Like, they'll get a bit of chip damage. Then Kuro says, no. Shadow Wave level two. Fear me. D oh, it's a sun strike. It. Oh. Nice. Right now, his Beastmaster <laughs> has level 4, soon to be level 5. The Call of the Wild is going to be all the more dangerous. Fada does not have Savage War, so he's going to be caught here. Telekinesis stalls up some of the damage from GH. They also have the Snowball and a Miracle. Fada sticks what around for that one. They actually do get the kill. Nice pickup. GH drops pretty low as well. Not having the best luck. Meanwhile, Firo going in on mind control. A really aggressive. Trying for it. He does have the rotation from GH. So mind control stands his ground. Fights. Does have the vision on it. Firo's sun strike is going to miss. But it also means Firo has to go back into GH and mind control. The crutch finishes him off. The supports just aren't there fast Another enough. Another rotation though. They can catch mind control at least. Make that a uh, pretty good trade off actually. Now. Assuming he doesn't notice that he loses his... Oh man, Firo going aggressive and punished. Dark pack not going to be there to save him. They attempt to try and snowball save Adam. Is not quick enough, though. I don't know if Bears fight this. I think Liquid's too big right now. I've said that before, and Bears decides to take fights anyway. So uh, here and, we are. And they do have the Ravage. They're going to try and initiate onto Fauna and bring him down with the Bray Sight, but it's not even close. They also have to save the Snowball towards the end there. What a turnaround. Liquid, they try and get too aggressive onto Bears, and they're going to pay the price. Unless maybe this Meatball is going to be enough. You're on the back lines. Managed to get away with the ultimate, and it looks like he's good. He's going to heal off that damage. Matamba Man is going to get dropped. The pullback there. Just enough. Yaps or gets weave. him with the Fate Bolt. Weave. Oh my god. That's 366 damage from an Invoker with that last physical damage hit. Sunstrike is going to miss on Bears. It did seem like Liquid just messed up the execution there. They weren't even close to killing Fada. They expected some sort of faster damage, and I'm, I'm not sure what that would have been. Uh, it, they were kind of banking sunstrike. on the Sunstrike, but there was a sick snowball to protect Fada, and so a lot of that damage was just mitigated. Firo's nice going to be able to catch GH, but oh, turn around, Reaper Scythe, not going to be close again, and there's the Snowball as well, the Sunstrike's going to come in, what Ooh. a Meteor, Deafening Blast, Matumba Man's going to get saved by the Shallow Grave, and Bears, it looks so good for one bright, shining moment, they counter the play of Liquid, and then it all goes to shit, his Miracle craps all over them, with a beautiful Meteor, Deafening Blast, and quite the save from Kuro, the Blink Dagger on the Yapsor, they got a four-man smoke up with a TP in from Forev, he blinks forward, to take out some of these creeps that are harassing down this tier 2. Firo's going to make the jump on Akuro. This uh, this defensive healer is the first one that needs to go down. He shallow graves himself, and uh, Rubik will gladly steal that one. That is actually a very valuable steal for upcoming team fights. Rubik is a pretty standard affair, but I guess wow. Tusk is... Oh, wow. Uh, that's, that's the blink, double blinks, Reaper Scythe, and uh, a Sun Strike. Haven't seen the proper initiation that lets these cores do their work quite yet as... Radiant Ancients, Yapsor. He stole Corrosive Haze. That's going to let the Tidehunter do a lot more, even just right-clicking Whoa. GH. But Yapsor goes a little bit too far. The Reaper Scythe won't finish what? him off. Uh, does receive a helping hand with the Ice Shards as well, but he's surely dead. They do manage to finish off the Slardart. One for one trade-off, though. Uh, what happened in mid lane? Miracle, they actually managed to kill Fada. Mind Control and Miracle joined forces, and they're going to be able to get Forev on his way back to the base as well. Mind Control, I, I, I want to talk about this build. I don't know if I, uh, you've ever seen anything like this, if somebody from the other regions has been picking this up, but this is quite a different build. And Vlad's, we should say, oh, those are the common items. see the smoke. Maybe gonna get they Matumba can Man. get the quick kill onto Matumba Man. They still have the Ravager. They're going to throw it out now, thinking there's going to be more heroes behind it, but the Shallow Grave is still there. And now the Shrine, which Matumba Man's going to get the full heal out of. They manage to get a Meatball out, which is going to force three members of Bears back, while Firo is not doing enough damage to really be able to kill Kuro. They brought him down with the Reaper Scythe, the Primal Roar onto Fada as well. The two damage dealers are dead. Yapsur tried to blink in to help out. It looks like Forev got hunted down by Miracle and GH, who are also going to be able to catch Adam. Adam... 
throwing out the snowball, but he is not oh, going the anywhere read? fast. The Look read? at that. Miracle. You're just styling on them. That is just naughty. The tusk pick up, and yeah. Slaughter is like, hey, guys, Roche is up. And they're like, I don't care. Let's just win. Yeah. No, Nobody cares. GG called from Bears. And that's it. 2-0 from Liquid. They had an intense series the first go around, but Liquid... I mean, I, I said this whole entire qualifier, they looked, they, they looked unstoppable. They looked like nobody could touch them.